I am John Bluford, the President and CEO of Truman Medical Centers, and I also happen to serve as the Chairman of the American Hospital Association Board of Trustees this year. The call to action is very important because it's really taking the best of the best and allowing us to share best practices among ourselves. I think many institutions and many of the organizations involved with the call to action have been very involved with eliminating disparities for a long time. So this is a, a monumental initiative. Uh, I think it's a very timely initiative, and we're looking forward to uh, reducing disparities to zero in the very near future. I'm Rich Umdenstock, the President and CEO of the American Hospital Association. I think we all know that the nation has a challenge in front of it relative to disparities in care and in outcomes. And it's time to once again try to ramp up attention to this and address this uh, major challenge. We've called for three things on behalf of hospitals. The first is to collect racial, ethnic, and language preference data on admission for every patient. Without that demographic data, we can't tell from our hospital specific data which patient groups get the best outcomes or not and therefore where we have to focus our care. Secondly, we want every person who comes in contact with patients to have had cultural competency training and know how to appropriately and sensitively approach different patient populations. And thirdly, we want to see the boards and leadership teams of our institutions continue to become more and more and more reflective of the patient populations they serve so that there's greater awareness and a greater capacity to address these challenges. I'm Sister Carol Keehan, the President and CEO of the Catholic Health Association of the United States. And it's a great pleasure to be here to say a few words about the critical importance of those of us who are in healthcare leading the initiative to reduce the disparities in care. We're the primary people who have responsibility for this nation's health care. And we have responsibility for everybody's health care, not just those who are just like us, not just those who we find it convenient or who can afford our care. And so it truly is important that the leadership for eliminating disparities come from the healthcare leaders in this country. My name is Bruce Siegel, and I'm the President and CEO of the National Association of Public Hospitals and Health Systems. Years ago, I did some work on disparities, and I actually traveled around the country talking to hospital CEOs from coast to coast. And I would meet with them, and I'd ask them a simple question. Do you provide the same high-quality care to all of your patients? And all of them would look at me and say, oh, absolutely. It's in our mission statement. And then I'd ask them another question. Well, how do you really know? and often there'd be an uncomfortable silence. Or someone would say back to me, you know, we really don't know that for sure. We've never really measured it. That's the challenge we have. We can assume we're doing a good job, but until we actually start to look at ourselves and really examine ourselves, we won't know for sure whether or not we actually have disparities in our community. That's really what this call to action is about. It's really about holding a mirror up to ourselves and making sure we're doing the right thing for the patients we serve. Hello, I'm Tom Dolan, President and Chief Executive Officer of the American College of Healthcare Executives. Our organization tries to address diversity and eliminating disparities in the field in four ways. First, by attracting diverse individuals into our field through education and scholarships. Second, by advancing the careers of our diverse individuals through our career development activities. Third, by conducting research on the career attainments of diverse individuals and publicizing those results. And fa finally, by educating all healthcare executives about diversity and cultural competence. I'm Atul Grover from the Association of American Medical Colleges in Washington, D.C. Our care has to be accessible and uh, culturally competent and relevant for any number of different kinds of patient populations. Uh, think about some of our hospitals that have translation services for over 90 languages in some cases. And I think what really strikes us as being important as we think about quality of health care and how to really improve the health of a population is that you can't have quality unless you have quality for everyone across the board. And that's I think been a challenge for our country but one that we really think we need to tackle now.